What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike Ray and I'm back at it again with another video. If you can't hit that like and that subscribe button for your boy, you know I'm coming on the channel. I feel like everybody wants to be a YouTuber these days and it's an open mind for anyone to do it, you know? There's an audience for everything and everyone on YouTube. That means you're free to find your own niche and once you do, you can create a community of like-minded people who genuinely enjoy what you put out there. Yes, there's about a few bad apples, so you'll likely deal with people who insist on tearing you down, but you'll have your community to fall back on and you can count on their support and their kind words to keep you going. If you feel like a YouTuber is the right direction for you, don't hesitate to take it. Just be sure to weigh out the pros and cons before you make your decision. Now, it's not hard to tell that CJ on 32 found his success by bringing what he was doing in the streets, as far as in building cars, to on a YouTube platform where he gained a lot of attention, a lot of people tuning in and want to follow him. Now you never know where your future will take you and people like CJ on 32s had explained to himself that he didn't know what he wanted to do with YouTube and on top of him not knowing if he wanted to do it by hesitate doing it off the strength that he done gained the things that he wanted in life without doing YouTube and living that life getting what he wanted before the YouTube. Now there's a different success when you reach up there in YouTube so that can be a life changing moment for you should I say and you can see that right now. But we gonna tune in to the life before CJ on 32 before the success success and all that and stuff you know pretty much from the so I see boys the people that he was around and I just built up his success on YouTube being a YouTuber now you know it all started back when he was around what's it called CJ so cool and that's when he got his big break but before that CJ already built the name in the streets by building his cars you know what I mean he had a couple interviews with a couple real magazines so CJ was on his way already building his name you know what I mean in the community as being known as they do it on 34s or 32s if you want to say just like anybody else, we all got our problems in life and you can tell that CJ done fought through his problems and made it through from the jail time, being a felon and all that and he still found his way to make success should I say. Now we all come from different backgrounds and you know CJ he come from a background of a hard working family and sometimes despite that you still can find your way to be in trouble, be in the streets, you know what I mean, be led the wrong way. More than 27% say that they leave school because of they fell in too many classes and nearly 26% report that it's just bored. Now CJ never gave a reason why he didn't graduate from high school, but you can tell that he was running the streets and like he said, he couldn't wait, he couldn't wait to wake up in the morning just to gang bang. Like I said, despite him being a four-time felon, he didn't want to do YouTube and he was just living reckless, but that couldn't stop him from chasing his dreams and doing what he wanted to do. Now, I don't always agree with CJ on 32s from the things that he do, the crowds he be around, and the activities that he indulged into, but from looking at his past, you could tell that he had a rough life, and he just want to relive his childhood, even if that's by him hanging around a younger crowd just to fit in with the new millennium. I feel like CJ just want to live his life and do what he want, and that's how you find yourself on YouTube. You got to try a bunch of things just to see where it would take you. Obviously, the car content took off, and the lifestyle vlog is kind of cringy in a way. But you can say that CJ never followed nobody except for the young crowd, should I say. Everybody has their opinion about somebody in life, but one thing about CJ on 32s, I can tell that he got an open heart for the people that be around him the most, you know what I mean? By him buying them chains and the cars. Sometimes when people do that, they either try to express how much they care for you or love you or whatever, but maybe some people be trying to just keep you in their favor. That way they can control you. But with CJ, you never know. So yeah, before YouTube, CJ running the streets, catching all these cases, doing all this and that. You know, he still fought his way on YouTube to try to switch it up and bounce back from all that. Like I said, I don't agree with everything CJ on 32s do. A lot of people be wondering where his success came from and where the jewelry came from, like all this little flashy lifestyle. I believe all that came from after the raffles, you know. In the beginning stages when CJ on 32 start raffling off cars, doing giveaways, it was more of you just having to subscribe and like and comment on the video for you to have a chance to win. 
it went from that to you trying to having to buy a ticket and you know the more his his audience got bigger the more his pockets got bigger from the raffle so i feel like that's where the success came from instead of investments people be saying but i know the raffles carry his channel and carry him for a while now i don't take nothing from cj as far as his success before youtube from him hooking up the cars it showed that he had you know what i mean some money to invest in those cars it take money and time to invest in that type of stuff so you could tell cj was doing what he loved to do before youtube as far as hooking up the cars and selling them and you know he got his big break as far as him making money when cj so cool got him so i'm not doubting the man or taking anything away that he didn't have money before youtube or stuff like that but you obviously can tell that the raffles done help that man grow it's safe to say that God done blessed this man by giving him major pushes and boosts just to reach his success, you know what I mean? I'm sure he probably not where he want to be, but it's a blessing for somebody like him to get that type of push from CJ So Cool on top of him handing him that type of money for he can invest in more cars to build a YouTube channel. So I feel like that's where the success started from and CJ just ran with it and kept on going. Of course, you got to put lead work in. You know, CJ was going to the car shows. He was doing whatever he had to do to get car content out there for you guys. And you know, when the success came, more money came. And that's where you see these lifestyle vlogs. So life before fame, it seemed like CJ had a good life. He was doing what he wanted to do. Then he got that big boost and he started doing extra stuff that he didn't expect himself to do. You know, before the fame, he was saying that he would never rock ice. He would never wear skinny jeans and stuff like that. And a lot of people say that until they get the money. And you see with CJ now, he became less than building cars custom cars he just want to buy the super exotic cars get everything done fast and of course he buy the designer clothes on top of the ice so you tell me would you change or what when you get the money so you never know how it might be after you get the fame and it's just in the success so yeah before life of famous a lot of things that i probably missed out on but it's kind of obviously that you know cj was a car dude bringing that car content back in the day before he got on youtube got his boost from cj so cool you know what i mean coming to buy those cars having his old so icy boys back in the days riding around like cj did a lot of stuff you know what i mean to build his name and he put a lot of work to get where he at should i say it's so much stuff that i really couldn't put in this video it would have to be like a documentary so if they want to work on that documentary i'm, I'm willing to work on it with you because i was on the same thing so appreciate everybody watching this video i know it's a lot i didn't talk about as far as the has baby mamas and all that it's pretty much you know what i mean out there already so if you watch me or you seen anything that he put out you probably know what's going on it's just a little light documentary video should i say of a before the fame with cj on 32 so appreciate everybody watching this video if you can hit that like and that subscribe button for your boys your boy mike rain i'm finna get up out of here let's get it yeah. mike rain made it.